Hi everybody, it's Christine from Card Making Magic. Many people don't realise that you can actually watercolour with distressing inks. And this is just an example of what you can do. It's the same image and it's been watercoloured with different distress inks um, and the result is, is quite nice. So because you're going to watercolour, you need to use a permanent ink pad. The Brilliance pads or the Stays On um, ink pad will be fine. And before you cut your paper, it would help you if you decide um, what shape you want the, the actual topper to be. So I'm just making sure that these will fit in my spell binders and then I'm going to cut the paper into quarters. Now once you've completed them, you'll then have your four images watercoloured and ready to add to your cards. So I've cut the card into four, we can cut the spellbinder shapes out afterwards and this is what we're going to do. So we just need one of the, the images to work on. Okay, so I've prepared my area and what I've got is some clean water in a, in a little um, pie dish. I've just put it onto a white tile, I have some folded up kitchen paper and this is my palette. This is just another white tile with some um, felt feet underneath it to stop it scratching my work surface. And this is the, the thing that I'm going to use my colours with. Obviously you need your distressing inks um, and you'll pick the colours out that you need. And this is the brush that I'm going to use. You only really need one brush. And this is a sable hair, it's a size 2. Because the, the image is so small, I'm only using a small brush. But it is, it is a sable hair one. And this was really cheap. I picked this up in the local um, graphics shop for 50 pence. So I bought myself half a dozen. So the distress inks that we need, that I'm going to use, are tattered rose for her skin and a little bit of tea dye to add the shadow. Maybe for her cheeks we'll use some um, aged mahogany. Then for the hair I'm going to use the tea dye again and some walnut stain for the shadows and I'll decide on the, the clothes that I'm going to put on her later. But for the grassy area I'm going to use forest moss. So these are the inks that we need. Now all you're going to do is just stamp them out onto your tile. And this is going to be your palette. So there are all the colours that I've used. And if I keep them there, I'll know exactly which ones are which. And there's my tile ready to be used. So let's make a start on colouring the image. Take your brush and put it into your clean water. And then on your tissue, just take off the excess. And all you're going to do with the clean water is just go into the facial areas. And all this is doing is putting down a layer of water. It doesn't need to be wet through, but it does help you to move your ink around a little bit more. So avoid the eye area on the image that you're doing, if it's a, a person, and just completely wet the image. Or just dampen it, not wet it. And you're only going to work on one area at a time. You're not going to do all the skin. Just do the, the skin on her face. And you can just see the shine on the facial part where it's been wet. So what you're going to do now is take some water on your brush and you're just going to dilute some of the tattered rolls. 
just pull it down on your tile but then take off the excess off your brush and if you twirl your brush as you're doing that you bring it to a nice fine point and all you're going to do is go into the areas that you've just wet and again mind the eye area because you don't want to um, make her eyes pink and just go over all the wet all the damp bits that you've just done okay so that's your first layer so now clean the tattered rose off your brush and dry it and bring some more water over to your tea dye area and again just dilute some of the colour down so that it's not as strong and again take the excess off on your brush and now you're just going to go into the hairline and anywhere where there may be a shadow on the child's face okay so there's the top of her ears there's a hairline and we'll come round the jawline as well now what you're going to do is clean your brush off dry it on there take all the excess water off and then go back over the tea dye and just blend that in just as you would if you were using uh, marker pens so now you've just blended in that area so clean the tea dye off your brush and dry it off and then add some clean water to your brush and this time you want the tiny tiny tiniest little bit of aged mahogany don't use a lot of it because it will spoil the look of your card so you're just going to dot some in where her cheeks are just the tiniest bit and then while your brush is still um, damp you're going to blend So that's her face finished so we're just going to leave that area alone now to dry and we're going to come down and do these arms and both her feet now because these are only small areas we can do these all at once so we'll start with the feet just put in your, your, your clear water base layer and again go to your tattered rose blend it in on both her feet and then you need to think about where the shadow is so you need to determine which side your light is coming from so we'll imagine that the sun is coming the light is coming from this side so now we need with the the tea dye just a little bit of tea dye we need to just add some shadow in to under her jeans and the back of her foot okay so clean your brush and then just while it's damp just blend in the shadow and then you're going to repeat the process on both her arms so I'll just carry on and do this a little bit of tattered rose into her hand and just on the side of her neck at the side of her arm there is a little bit of her neck that needs to be painted in and we'll colour in the arm that comes underneath the blouse that she's wearing and bring it down and again decide where the light is so we've said that the light's coming from the left so a little bit of tea dye and we're just going to add some 
some shadow along the edge of the, the dress and under the top there and down the side of her neck. Clean it off the brush and while it's still damp just blend in the tea dye. Okay, so that's her arms, her feet and her face done. The last bit of skin to do is her tummy area. So again, with some tattered rose, just paint in the area that you need. And again, think about the shadow. So with a little bit of tea dye, just put some in under the top and down the right hand side. And again, with a clean brush and while it's damp, just blend it in. And that just gives some shape to her body. Okay, so there's all the skin work done.